Hey guys, Carlos from Real Tees Fishing TV. Today we have a quick video. We're gonna change the low pressure fuel pump on one of our outboards. This is a 200 Yamaha Saltwater Series. It's a two stroke engine. And this is what the fuel pump looks like. They're pretty easy to spot once you take the cowling off. Basically, we're gonna show you today how you could tell if yours on your outboard have gone bad. Now, some of the symptoms of a low pressure fuel pump going bad are gonna be hard start, uh, the engine doesn't want to stay on in neutral uh, or maybe you're not getting full RPMs when you give it full throttle. She wants to stay maybe at around 3500 RPM and you're noticing that she's running really rough. In this case, our outboard does not want to start at all. So we went ahead and we loosened them up and we noticed that they, that one of the pressure, uh, low pressure fuel pumps went bad. So we're going to show you how we went ahead and diagnosed it on this outboard so you could do so at home. All right guys, so it was a little tight there. It was a little hard to see, so I'm gonna put it out here in the open for you, but just try to picture this. Try to picture that this is the block of the engine where the, where the fuel pump is bolted onto. So to test it without having to remove anything, without having to go crazy, all you're gonna do is the bolt that is in that hole and in this hole you're gonna loosen it say give it maybe three turns to the left on both of them just so you can get a little bit of separation right you're just looking for a little bit of separation where you could pull it off the block and then you're gonna have somebody squeeze the primer bulb a few times and in that gap behind here there should be no fuel dripping from behind the fuel pump it should be one solid piece no dripping anywhere if you see dripping coming from the fuel pump from that gap you have a bad fuel pump so that's an easy way to diagnose it uh, I was hoping to show you on the block unfortunately we have two outboards and it's a little tight so I figured this little demonstration would be the easiest way to do it. And we're gonna end how you saw the fuel leaking from the back of the pump. We got a good shot of that. Hopefully that helps you in your diagnosis of your engine. If you like the video, please give us a like, subscribe to us. Put on the comments down below what you would wanna see, what kind of engine you have, what issues you're having. I'll try to answer everything I can. Thank you, have a great day. Little tip that I like to do is if you look here, I like to put a label. You could do it with a Sharpie. Basically, we put the date, the month, and the year of when we replaced it, and I like to do it every three years. So if you, if you stick to that routine every three years, you should be fine. These things love to go bad, normally at the worst times possible, which is usually when you're offshore or you're out on the boat or whatnot. So we're gonna go ahead and replace this.